Hey everybody, I'm Zach. And I'm Jesse. And you're watching In Depth on Now You Know. Uh, what are you doing now? Huh? I'm uh, designing my own cryptocurrency, Zach coin. <laughs> that's, that's not how cryptocurrency works. Well, how does it work then? Because I've watched like a zillion YouTube videos and I still don't get it. Have you tried going to Brilliant.org, our sponsor for this show? Oh, I love Brilliant. But I mean, how is that going to help me learn about crypto? Well, you could take Brilliant's course called Cryptocurrency, which teaches with hands-on puzzles so you can learn about the math and technology behind how cryptocurrencies work. Oh, wow. This course is amazing. I mean, it goes from the history of cryptocurrency through hash functions and blockchain ledgers. It's all here in one course. Yeah, Brilliant has so many cool courses on so, so many, many cool topics from logic and pre-algebra right. to computer science and probability. And I love Brilliant's courses because they know how to make learning stick in your brain. All of Brilliant's courses have storytelling and use interactive problems and hints. So will you at least promise you won't start Zach Coin until you finish learning about cryptocurrency with Brilliant? Sure. Then will you help me get Elon to tweet about Zach Coin? Because it's going to be bigger than Doge. To support our channel and learn more about Brilliant, go to brilliant.org slash now you know and sign up for free. And also the first 200 people to go to that link will get 20% off the annual premium subscription. We're also brought to you by abetterrootplanner.com. Use our link in the show notes below to get a 30-day free trial to the premium app. And we're brought to you by bigbattery.com. No matter what you need to power, Big Battery can provide you with the latest battery tech at the best price per kilowatt hour, guaranteed. Their batteries are easily installed, require zero maintenance, and they're made right here in the U.S. Pick up yours today at bigbattery.com and use code now you know for 5% off at checkout. We've been reporting on Tesla and Elon now every week for five years straight. And I don't think I've ever seen anything like this in my life. A person and a company doing so much good, affecting so many people's lives for the better. Cars that are cleaner, safer, and more fun to drive. Solar and batteries that bring us clean, cheap energy. And yet, aside from our little group here, our little community of Tesla fans, Tesla and Elon have no friends. Because Tesla and Elon are disrupting so many industries, practically everyone on the planet would like to see them fail. Now, you would think the people on the left would love Elon and Tesla. Liberals, Democrats, tree huggers, whatever name you want to give. You'd think, well, these people want what Tesla wants, right? To speed up the advent of clean, renewable energy and transportation. But do they champion Elon? President Biden and the Democrats sure haven't. At recent White House events where Biden talked up EVs and EV charging infrastructure, where were the Teslas? I saw Jeeps and Chevys and Fords. But I didn't see the American company that has made and sold the most EVs in the U.S. Did Biden get into a Tesla and drive it around? No, nope, that's right. It was a Ford F-150 Lightning. A car you can't even buy yet. Why? Why, Democrats, would you favor Ford, GM, and Stellantis over Tesla? In fact, why would you not even invite Tesla to join you? Could it be because the powers that be have made it clear Tesla is not welcome? Tesla is the enemy of the status quo companies. Behind the scenes, the lobbyists and the power brokers for these powerful companies are trying desperately to get laws written that hold back Tesla. For instance, on Capitol Hill, there was a lot of talk about an extension of the EV tax credit. $7,500. No, let's, no, let's make, make it 10000 10, Heck, let's, let's make, make it $12,500 per new vehicle. Yeah. Oh, but guess what? After the lobbyists got done with it, the latest bill has it so there is no EV credit if the EV costs more than $40,000. And guess what? There aren't many Teslas that cost $40,000. Oh, sorry, Tesla. Oh, and guess what? That $12,500, that's only if the EVs you're thinking of buying was built in a union factory. Never mind that Tesla pays their workers some of the best wages in the country. Never mind that Tesla offers some of the best health care benefits in the country. Never mind that Tesla offers stock options so that most Tesla employees are actually shareholders, owners of the company they work at. Never mind that Tesla has one of the safest auto factories in the country. We're going to penalize you because your workers don't really want to unionize because they have such great jobs. But you know what we're going to do for you? We're going to lobby some powerful Democratic senators to put pressure on the FTC and NHTSA, the Federal Trade Commission, and the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration to open an investigation into you, Tesla, because you call your driver assistance feature autopilot, and that's misleading. Even though Mercedes has called theirs autopilot as well, and Ford calls theirs copilot, and Nissan calls theirs propilot, we're just going to pick on you, Tesla. 
Oh, yeah. And we're going to investigate some crashes that happened because people that were driving your Teslas weren't paying attention and crashed into big, shiny fire trucks and police cars with their lights on. But you know what? That wasn't the driver's fault. It was your fault, Tesla, for trying to make a safety system that has made your cars nine times safer than the average car. Yeah, we know that's what millions of miles of data shows, but we don't care. We're going to have the federal government spend taxpayer resources to investigate you, Tesla. Even lefties like Bernie and Robert Reich do it. They love to pick on Elon and Tesla. It's an easy target, I guess, because who likes billionaires? Elon, you evil billionaire. All you care about is Mars. Why can't you care about this planet as much as you do about the red planet? Oh, do you care about our planet? Then why aren't you hugging trees and greenwashing like all the other corporations do? If only you would pay billions of dollars to advertisers to tell us your company's plans. Maybe then... We would like you because you'd be playing the game. We don't want to read a bunch of tweets from you. Just pay for commercials like everyone else. And hang on, right wingers, conservatives, Republicans. Pick your name of choice. You thought we were going to let them off the hook? Not so fast. They're just as bad. Are they proud of Tesla? Our American underdog pulled up from their bootstraps company? Nope. They just spread lies about Tesla because their corporate puppet masters tell them to. The production of EVs creates more CO2 than gas cars. Watch out, Teslas catch on fire. Teslas use rare earth minerals that we're running out of. We'll never have enough batteries to make any of this work. Elon Musk isn't even from this country. Hey, Republican governor of Texas, Greg Abbott, you like to claim that you're best pals with Elon and that you share secret handshakes and stuff, but then you won't let Tesla sell their American-made cars in your state, you f***ing hypocrite. Governments shouldn't tell people what to do, even though you can't buy Teslas in Texas. That's the law. The law written by a bunch of corrupt politicians taking money from the auto industry that is scared to death of Tesla. And why are they scared to death? Because the American auto industry decided to keep making crappy, dirty ICE cars instead of innovating and making EVs years ago when they could have started. Now it's too late. You're all going to fail. You know it. And instead of buckling down and trying harder to catch up with Tesla, you decided to spend money on politicians to write laws to put roadblocks in Tesla's way. It makes me f***ing sick. But you know what? Elon's used to it by now. He's used to not having many friends. He grew up being picked on by stupid people who would rather bully him than try to understand him. Because understanding takes work. It takes empathy. Bullying is easy. And that's the amazing part. You see, most of us would do anything not to get picked on. What do most CEOs do? They try to make everybody happy all the time. That's why most corporations give money to politicians on both sides of the aisle. It takes a lot of work, a lot of effort and time and resources and focus to make friends and keep them happy. And to be honest, if Elon has a flaw, it's that he's so busy innovating and building that he doesn't put in the time and effort into trying to keep people happy who would rather cut him down. It doesn't seem like it should have worked out, does it? For a guy who doesn't spend resources on making friends, you would think that by now he would have failed. His auto company shouldn't be the most valuable auto company in the world. He shouldn't be the number one manufacturer of electric vehicles in the U.S. With so many enemies on both sides of the aisle and so many positions of power, Tesla should have gone bankrupt years ago. But you know why Tesla hasn't failed? Because we lied to you. Tesla does have friends. Lots of them. All over the world, in every nook and cranny of this planet, there are people who love what Tesla is doing. And how do we know? Because we're out here every week making videos about Elon and Tesla, and we hear from you. You. You watching right now are very likely a friend of Tesla. And we are the reason Tesla has succeeded and will continue to succeed. We may not be the most powerful people, but we are many and we are fierce. We spread the news about what Tesla is doing. We stood in line for the Model 3. We put down $100 for a Cybertruck. We speak up to our elected officials. We vote. We put our money where our mouth is. And we are moving the needle on public opinion. We're loyal. We are a community of incredibly important people. And we won't stop. Friends matter. We matter. Did you ever stand up to a bully who is bullying you? Did you ever stand up to a bully who is bullying someone else? It's not easy, is it? In fact, it's downright scary. They're usually bigger than you. There's usually a lot to lose. But I don't like bullies, and neither do you. So let's continue to stand up for our friends at Tesla. 
Let's stand with them in their fight for a better planet. I want to be clear. We are dealing with bullies on each side of the aisle who are desperately trying to keep the rest of us in line. If just one of us stands up to the bullies, they might beat that person back into line. But if two of us, three of us, four of us stand up and say, enough, enough of this bull and lies and FUD, we are all going to be driving EVs very soon. We are all going to have solar powering our lives very soon. We are all going to look back at this moment in history and laugh at ourselves for being so thick headed and stupid for not seeing that EVs and renewable energy were the sensible path. So let's stand up to the bullies together, fight the deceptions, spread the truth, get butts and seats and convert your friends and family. Have that uncomfortable conversation with that coworker who always has that tidbit of wrong information. That's why we started our Now You Know Clips channel, to help you spread the short news stories to combat the FUD. Tesla's mission is to accelerate the transition to sustainable energy and transportation. We can help with that mission. In fact, we all are vital to that mission. So if you believe, like we do, that this is the right side of history to be on, stand up with your friends. That's the side I want to be on. That's the side I want to be on. Now you know where we stand. Thanks so much for watching Now You Know. We work hard to bring you videos about things that we think you'll find useful, but we need to know from you what you want to see, so leave your comments below. Also, don't forget to go over to our Patreon page, where for as little as a buck a month, you can watch our Patreon bonus story every week on Tesla Time News. Thanks again. We'll see you soon.